All right, today I am working on putting in a water tank into the trailer. So let me show you guys what I have basically done up to this point. I have a five gallon jug and a, no, well, a five gallon water cooler and a five gallon jug here. And what I would do was I'd have this strap down for travel, pull off this lid, and then I would put this water pump into this tank. And the way I'd activate that is a switch right next to the sink right there. And I would have some pressurized water. It works. Not the best. Um, anytime I stopped and we had to do anything, you know, for lunch or whatever, pull the top off and then have to put the pump in and everything. And so it it worked but it wasn't the best and um, I'm swapping this out for a completely different system so let's get to that process all right so on my last video um, we had just barely put in these charge controllers which I always think they're funny they're 0.1 volts difference but uh, to do this water tank Obviously, this is going to come out of the way, and I'm going to take these filing cabinets, and they're coming out as well. They've been good for storage. Um, they're not my favorite, but they're, they've been good. And uh, so the charge controllers, they're going to get mounted up against the wall. These filing cabinets, they're coming out. Um, this whole area is getting cleared out. I actually have a battery up there that's got to get moved out too. But uh, um, because of the weight of the water tank, in conjunction with the... The tongue weight um, I, I kind of have to move everything out of the way from up here otherwise I might be too heavy on the tongue weight uh, the 15 gallon tank that I'm going to be putting in is uh, it's a hundred I'm trying to remember the weight um, I don't want to go over my tongue weight so I'm going to shift some of my storage uh, towards the back of the trailer to to help with that and uh, let's go through this process of disassembly and getting the new water tank in place <laughs> There you have it. This is the 15 gallon uh, sprayer tank with a pump built into it and whatnot um, from Harbor Freight. Uh, I feel like I'm losing so much storage space putting this all the way up at the front, but because of the futon right here, I, I don't really have anywhere in the middle to put it. Uh, for the tank and the pump and whatnot, the cost, um, I was going to build one out of PVC and this was just so much cheaper i mean this whole setup costs the same as the pump that i was looking at on amazon so i'm gonna i'm gonna give this a, a shot here for it uh, one of the other things i really like about it is that this pump says right on it 12 volt 2 amps and it's that uh, it's only 40 psi but i'm not gonna need more than that i'm not I'm not running any showers or anything off of it yet we are going to triple the amount of water that I used to be able to carry in this. More than triple, actually. Uh, the five gallon water jug, I would only fill it to four gallons because driving down the road it would slosh and the top wasn't sealed very good and I would get water everywhere. I'd only put four gallons in it. So this is going to al almost quadruple, but basically triple the amount of water that I can take with me. <laughs> Almost there. Mm. 
but okay. All right, so freshwater tank strapped down. Fun fact, I don't have my gray water tank ready or anything. That blue jug is something that I'd have to use if I was out somewhere. So for testing everything to make sure it's all gonna work, it's just gonna be some clean water that's going down on the ground. Uh, I have a hole right here in the floor for some plumbing that I worked with previously. So I'm gonna re, I'm gonna utilize that again. Uh, basically gonna this guy down all right everything's hooked up gray tank temporarily in place there for testing and let's plug this guy in oh okay let's take it up top oh <laughs> Yeah, got the air out of the line there. That works awesome. Let's do a half twist to see what happens. All right. <laughs> All right, that is pretty slick. I am really liking this setup. This is awesome. I can't wait to have this 15 gallons filled up there and done. Uh, I'm not even going to put a switch on this. I am actually just going to, when I'm traveling, come under here, unplug it, done. So that way I don't have to worry about it kicking off while I'm going down the road and whatnot. Um, it's a great setup. I absolutely love this. Uh, I can't wait to get out there and actually utilize it. I, I obviously still have the gray tank to to relocate underneath the trailer. I'm going to do another video on that one for how I'm going to build a custom gray tank. And i got another strap to put on still. Um, other than that, this is, this is awesome. I am super, super excited to have tripled my storage capacity here. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, all that fun stuff, and I will catch you guys on the next project or adventure. See ya.